Noah begins kissing and groping her and she cannot resist. They have passionate sex. Movie begins with Claire Peterson. Jennifer Lopez is on the brink of divorce after discovering that her husband Garrett, John Corbett, has been cheating on her with his secretary. She kicks him out, which creates a rift between them and their son Kevin, Ian Nelson. Claire's best friend Vicky Lansing, Kristen Chinawith, stands by Claire and encourages her to sign the divorce papers immediately and leave Garrett for good. Garrett shows up for dinner on Kevin's birthday. After a business trip to San Francisco, where the affair took place, he invites Claire and Kevin on a fishing trip. Claire declines the invitation, but allows Kevin to accompany her father. She is still deeply hurt by the deception. One day, as Claire is getting ready to take Kevin outside, the garage door gets stuck. Claire wants to push it through and is supported by a young man named Noah Sandburn, Ryan Guzman. He is the nephew of Claire's wheelchair-bound neighbor. Noah offers to help fix the garage door. He goes to the hardware store with Kevin. After they leave, Noah's uncle tells Claire that Noah's parents died last year and he is still struggling with a loss. The boys go to a hardware store, where Kevin finds out that Noah will be attending the same high school as him, where Claire is a teacher. After packing his things, Kevin notices that a girl from his school named Ali Callahan, Lexi Atkins, works there. He has a crush on her, but is too nervous in front of her. Noah convinces him to go and talk to her. When Kevin goes to pay, Noah introduces himself to Ali. Shortly after, three punks on skateboards, led by a man named Jason Zimmer, Adam Hicks, come and harass Kevin in front of Ali and Noah. While his uncle is in hospital, Noah spends a lot of time with Kevin, and Claire invites him to lunch with them and Vicky. Claire mentions that she teaches classical literature at school, and Noah expresses his love of the Iliad, quoting Homer. Claire is clearly impressed by this. Later, Noah notices that Claire has placed a stiletto in the box, which he says is a gift from Vicky. Noah says that these shoes are for women who want to be sexy and that Claire doesn't have to try too hard. He apologizes for sounding too pushy. While Kevin and Garrett are traveling, Claire gets ready to go out. She looks out the window and sees Noah naked in his room. He realizes that she is looking at him, but she hides behind the curtains. Claire goes on a double date at a restaurant with Vicky and her boyfriend Ethan, Travis Schulte, and his partner Cooper. Brian Mahoney. Cooper is a total idiot, insulting Claire's love of classic literature and calling her a firecracker when she defends her opinions. She also notices him checking out the waitress. Claire leaves the restaurant and goes home. Noah calls Claire and tells her he was trying to defrost some chicken in the microwave. He asks her to come over and help him prepare it properly. She eventually goes to his place and stays to eat with him after the chicken is properly cooked. Noah continues to flirt with Claire and although Claire is interested, she feels it is wrong. Noah begins kissing and groping her and she cannot resist. They have passionate sex. The next morning, Claire begins to regret what happened the night before. She tells Noah that what they did was wrong. This enrages him, causing him to slam into a wall and draw blood from his knuckles. Kevin and Garrett return from their trip. As they are having lunch with Claire, Noah shows up a little late. When Claire brings over a plate of cookies, Noah asks Claire if she told the boys what happened while they were gone. When she says that it rained heavily, Noah says proudly, it got so wet down there. When Kevin offers him a cookie, Noah replies, I love your cookies, mommy. The new school year starts, and as Claire starts her first class, the principal comes in and tells her that Noah only came to her class because she made him look like he did, just as Claire asks him to move to her class. She realizes that he hacked her computer. Kevin and Noah spend time together, but Claire begins to feel uncomfortable around Noah. Noah takes Kevin to the woods with his uncle's gun. He sets up a line of oranges and manipulates Kevin into hating his father for betraying Claire. This is when Garrett comes over at dinner and Kevin yells at him. Kevin goes to the school gym with Noah to vent his frustrations on the punching bag. Kevin goes into shock from trying too hard. Noah runs to his locker and grabs Kevin's epi pen. 
He stabs Kevin in the leg and helps him. Vicky brings Claire flowers to work, but they both believe they are from Garrett. When Claire calls him, he denies having sent anything. She suspects that Noah sent her and confronts him in the gym, where a teacher notices and sees her pushing Noah. Kevin returns to the hardware store and asks Sally if she wants to go to the movies with him. She says no, but she would like to go to the fall festival with him. Claire and Garrett go on a date, but he begins to become violent towards her. She is still upset about the affair, but Garrett really wants to make amends. Noah finds out about all this and angrily confronts Claire about it the next morning. Kevin catches them and drives Noah to school, still angry at his parents. Jason and his buddies go to Kevin's place and start giving him a hard time. Kevin confronts Jason when Noah comes in and kicks Jason into a locker, hitting him in the head multiple times. Vicky runs in to try and stop the fight but is pushed by Noah. He is pulled away by a large teacher. Noah is sent to the principal's office, where Vicky says that she never received Noah's report card from his previous school because he was expelled for disorderly conduct. In response, Noah calls her a dried up dirty bitch. Vicky raises her hand to hit him, but he catches her. When she kicks him out, he leaves. Claire accompanies Autumn to her case and leaves Kevin with Allie. Allie tells Claire about the leak in the boys' bathroom. When she goes to turn off the sink, she sees big letters written on the wall saying I fucked Claire Peterson. Noah appears from the darkness and tries to force himself on Claire, but gets kicked in the balls. She tells him to stay away from her and Kevin. The next day, Clara's students are locked out of class. She opens the door and looks inside, only to see something horrifying. She leaves the students outside and discovers hundreds of photos of her and Noah having sex all over the classroom, plus printouts of more photos. Claire unplugs the printer and frantically tries to delete the images when the superintendent appears. She opens the door for the students to come in. The principal expresses concern about Clara's recent behavior and says he heard about the argument she had with Noah in the gym. Garrett picks Kevin up from school and drives him home. Kevin still resents his father and drives angrily. He is going too fast and cannot stop because his brakes are not working, and Kevin nearly hits two cars, but Garrett helps him swerve into a water jug lined up on the road. Returning home, Claire sees a dent in Garrett's car. He and Kevin didn't tell Claire what happened, but they assured her that they were both okay. She notices the two of them watching TV with Noah. He follows her into the kitchen, where she tells him about the photo. He tells her that he took a video of their night together and that if she wants it, she'll have to go to his house. Claire goes to see him later that night, but Noah promises to give her the video only if they continue sleeping together. She refuses and leaves. Claire tells Vicky everything and asks for her help. She tells Claire to go to Noah's house and find the tape herself. Noah follows the car, thinking it belongs to Claire, and encounters Vicky. He turns the car around and gets a call from Vicky to Claire, who has broken into Noah's house. She finds a camera hidden behind the clock above the fireplace. She goes into the basement and finds hundreds of photos of herself tacked to the walls. Claire goes through Noah's laptop and finds video and image files. After she throws everything out, she discovers two more files with photos of brakes, suggesting that Noah was the one who cut the brakes off Garrett's car and minivan. Claire returns upstairs and is surprised to see Noah's uncle. She runs away to the house. Claire meets with a detective and learns that Noah's father was hit by a truck and his parents died in a car accident. She is led to the remains of a car and sees that it is the same minivan that was listed on Noah's laptop. At home, Claire calls Vicky and is startled by a knock on the door. He has Vicky bound and gagged, then calls Claire using a recording of Vicky's voice and pages her. Claire arrives at Vicky's house. It is dark and the lights are off. Claire is frightened by Vicky's cat and stumbles into a cupboard, which opens and Vicky's body falls out. Noah slits her throat. Claire screams and runs out of the house. When Noah finds her and drags her out of the car, she calls the police. Noah takes Claire to the barn, where he ties up Garrett and Kevin. Noah threatens to kill them both if Claire doesn't agree to stay with him. 
She grabs a wrench and hits him with it. She runs over to Kevin and tries to untie him until Noah gets up and pulls Claire off of him. He grabs kerosene and throws it around Garrett and Kevin. When Claire pushes him, he takes out a lighter and ends up dropping it, igniting the kerosene. The barn starts to burn. Garrett frees himself and wraps the rope that is on his wrist around Noah's neck. Noah grabs his gun and shoots Garrett once in the chest. Claire picks up Kevin's EpiPen and stabs Noah in the eye. She goes back and tries to untie Kevin, but Noah continues to resist. She sticks her finger in his eye and pus and blood comes out. Kevin breaks the rope and hits Noah with a piece of wood. Noah shoves Kevin away. He points a gun at Kevin and says heroes sometimes have to make hard decisions. Claire calls Noah and tells him you're not a hero and flips the switch, shutting off Noah's engine, killing him for good. Claire and Kevin pull Garrett out of the burning barn. Paramedics and police arrive on the scene. They push Garrett into the ambulance, with Claire and Kevin riding next to him, as she continues to reassure Garrett that everything is going to be okay and that he can finally go home before leaving. Subscribe the channel and like the video.